Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Candice and in this video I'm going to be doing and sharing my top 10 holiday designer bags that are red. I'm gonna share those. It's going to range basically from affordable to expensive or what's what I consider affordable, I guess. So let's dive right into it. We have lots of brands on the list. Jacquemus, Givenchy, Bottega, Valentino, Versace, Dior, Montclair, Saint Laurent. So let's get into it. So the first one I have, I actually own. It is new to my collection. I actually sold my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in red, cherry, whatever. I don't know. I just kind of got tired of it. I wore it a lot. I just really wanted a different red bag. And I had that one for a few years. So I felt like it was I could, you know, move on and not be upset. And number two, because I, red is not really one of my favorite colors anyway. It's just a bag I bought just because I felt like I needed a red bag. I still need a red bag, but it's literally my least favorite color. So I got another one to replace it. You've probably seen it in past videos if you've been paying attention, which a lot of y'all do. This is the Jacquemus La Montagne La Grande Chiquito bag in red. This retails for 810. I did not pay full price for this. I've been loving this bag. I took it with me to Miami. It's super cute. The top handle is so nice on it. The fact that I can put my entire arm in here now, which I was not able to do with the little tiny little Chiquito bag, is also super roomy inside. I love how structured it is. I could do a review on it and everything. Just let me know. It's so cute. Also, I think I told y'all this. I didn't pay full price for it. I got it from Essence. I had like a 20% off coupon and Jacquemus qualified. So it also comes with longer strap too, if you wanna wear it crossbody, which is so nice. I thought that the bigger version of the Lichquito bag would not be a vibe, but I saw Pockets and Bows TV share. I don't know if she had this color. She has white and she has another color, I forgot. She, ju she just kept posting the damn bag over and over again. I was like, okay. I, I'll bite. Let me let me at least take a look at it. And when I got it in the mail, I was like, okay, no, I'm not sending this back. And I still love it so much. So great option under a thousand dollars for the holidays. Great, great option. And I'm still gonna wear it even after the trend is over. Just to let y'all know, y'all know this already though. This next one is gonna be slightly controversial because a lot of people don't like the Antigone Mini. They think it's out of style. All of that. I disagree. This is the Givenchy Antigone Mini in dark red. I still love mine. Okay. It retails for 18 dollars I own the one in 10. This one's in dark red. I really like this. This is in box leather too, which I feel is the better material, better material of the two. I don't really like their green leather because I had a bad experience with my white one. Y'all know this, I've told the story. But this one is so cute. It's on pre-order. It's not gonna ship until March. So I don't know how good for holidays that would be. It has silver hardware. Okay, I saw it in stock somewhere. I knew I saw it in stock somewhere. I knew I wasn't tripping. So, Saks has it on pre-order, which is ridiculous, and it won't ship until March. But Neiman Marcus got you covered, okay? They have it in stock. You can add it to your cart if you want to. So I'll be sure to link that one down below instead. But it says bright pink for some reason, but the color is dark red. That's what it looks like. It's the same smooth box leather and everything. Top handles. I hate when they show different colors than what I asked for. I asked for red. So why aren't you showing me all the options in red? Anyway. Y'all know I love this bag. I still love it, okay? It's super roomy. My husband doesn't like it. I love it. This option is from Bottega Veneta, and this is the Mini Jody in dark red. I told y'all in a past video how I feel about the Mini Jody now. At first, I hated it. Now, I get it, okay? I get it. Y'all were right. I was wrong, okay? I love this bag. I love the color of it. It's a rich red. If you don't want a super bright in your face red, it's super rich, and you can carry this into Valentine's. I mean, you can wear it all year. All of these, okay? But for most people, they don't want to wear red when it's not the holidays. That makes no sense to me, but okay, go off. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Y'all know what the mini Jody looks like, but this red is absolutely delicious. It's beautiful. And of course, the leather on this is so smooth. Bottega leather is some of the best I've seen. They're Italian leather, but in Trisciato, in in Trisciato leather, a Trisciato weaving. I'll learn how to say it one day. <laughs> that might be right. I don't know. Let me know if y'all know. Also from Bottega Veneta, this is the chain cassette bag in dark red gold. So it has a red velvet material and it has gold hardware. So let me zoom in on this so you can see it. They also have this red leather one, just the traditional leather that has 
silver hardware. I will show you that one too, just in case. But this one is more holiday-ish. It's velvet, you know, it's smooth and everything. This is what it looks like. I think this is a bit too much for me, but if you want something more classy and more with a statement, this is a great option for you. The entire strap is chain. I just think that would get annoying, especially with how thick it is and everything, but it's a great option. Y'all know I love my cassette bags. I have the, not the chain, I have the cassette bag and I have the padded cassette. I love both of them. And this is the same thing basically, it just has a chain on it and they're charging you four grand instead of three grand or whatever the others are. But it looks to be the same size that's that option and if you want the other alternative just the leather and the you know padded cassette the padded chain cassette this comes in red this is what that looks like this is 4500 so it's actually slightly more than the other version in case you just didn't want to do the other material you don't want to touch that this option is from valentino this is the medium roman stud matalas matalase leather shoulder bag and rouge this retails for $32.50. It is all red, no other hardware, no silver, no gold. So if you don't want any type of metal on it, this will be a great option for you. And also it qualifies for the sex promotions that they, also, that they often have. You can get a gift card with this. Wow. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. It's the medium size, so it's slightly larger than the size I have. I think I have a medium actually, but I don't have a Roman stud. I have the older, just the rock stud, but this is cute. It also has a roomy interior, has an inside zipper, and their leather is pretty smooth. $35.50 though? Did I say 30? I did say 35, 30. I said 32. It's actually 35.50. So this is what that looks like. Okay. Rouge Pure. Limited inventory. I'm sure it is. It's cute. I really like it. My next one is from Versace. This is the La Medusa. La Medusa. Small handbag in red. This retails for $18.75. Y'all know I love this one. The lilac one that came out, I don't even know. If, okay, it's still available. <sighs> I really liked it online, but I saw it in person. I was like, it's, I don't think this is the bag for me, but this is really cute. I love how it has leather end chain on the strap. Well, actually it's full chain, but the actual top handle is leather and it has the Medusa on the front flap, on, on. It has gold hardware, so it does have a bit of gold in it. It's not full red, which is not that big of a deal. It's not that obvious. And then along the back, it has a very small Versace logo. Ooh, that's different. It has a lilac purple interior with an interior pocket. I think that's nice, that nice contrast of a pop of color. Okay, so there is a leather strap. Okay, so it has a leather shoulder strap a ch and a chain shoulder strap and a top handle. It comes with all three. That's a pretty good deal for $18.75 with the price that a lot of these other brands are charging. Yeah, I see the leather strap there. So it looks like you can change it out to what you want. You know, you could do the chain or you could do the leather. Very versatile. For what these other brands are taxing nowadays for these bags, $18.75 is a pretty good deal for what you're getting, in my opinion, with that. So, yeah. Also from Versace, if you want something a little more impractical, a little more bougie, a little more beautiful, in my opinion. Oh my gosh, this one. This is the La Medusa Studded Micro Bag in red. This is $11.25. It's even cheaper, but of course it's smaller. These gold accents on this red, oh my gosh, they are beautiful. That gold chain, the contrast of the gold against red is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Yes, it's micro, but I have other micro bags and I deal with it. I mean, just look how cute it is. It has a gold shoulder strap too. You can wear it crossbody. Can you imagine how cute this would look crossbody? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely beautiful. It has gold Medusa on it. Just look how gorgeous it is, okay? No matter how big it is, look how gorgeous it is. <sighs> okay, so this one is from Dior. It is the highest bag on my list, I think. Yeah, it's even higher than the Bottega one. This is the mini Lady Dior in cherry red patent. And this is 4300. There's something about Dior patent leather that I love, but I have not bitten the bullet just because it's so damn expensive. But this bag is absolutely beautiful. Look how scrumptious that red looks. It's a dark, a darker, richer red. It says cherry red, but I feel like it's darker than that. Oh my gosh, look at it. With the gold hardware, I think gold is the most genius metal you could use against red. Some people might disagree with that, but I really like how gold and red looks together. If I'm gonna wear red, I want to have gold hardware, if any at all. And this one is adorable. I've always admired the Lady Dior, to be honest with you. And 
I just never bought one just because the price. I don't know. I just feel like is the price really worth it? Let me know y'all's thoughts on that, how y'all feel about that, because I have not been the bullet because of that, basically. And I don't know if I have any validity with my opinions or if I'm just full of crap and I just need to get it. I don't know. Whatever. Let's move on though. I have two more on the list. This next one is from Moncler. Not really popular for bags, but I had to share this with y'all because you might like it. I think it's cute. This is from Moncler. It's the seashell down clutch in red. This retails for $9.45. For some reason it's showing in euros. I didn't switch it over, but I promise it's available. I've, I saw it literally this morning. And this is cute. It's made of their down puffer material, which is nice. So it's super squishy, super affordable. If you don't want to spend an arm and leg for a clutch, if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on the, Bo the Bottega pouch, this is a great alternative. Look how cute it is. Look how soft it looks. <sighs> look at it. Doesn't look like it has a zipper. It looks like it has a drawstring of some sort. I think this is adorable. There's two different reds on the back. So darker red on the outside and then the top and then the more true red on the interior or the outside interior. I just love this. It also has a longer strap if you don't want to do the clutch too. So it's convertible. Hmm, Montclair, I see you. Let's see you, sis. Okay, so here's another, or here's an option. My first option for Saint Laurent. I don't know why I thought I shared another one. I guess not. This is the Lulu Toy Leather Shoulder, shoulder Bag in Opium Red. This retails for $17.90. Y'all know how I feel about Saint Laurent in general, okay? But I love this style. I love anything squishy and soft. This looks absolutely beautiful. If you don't really like the bright red, it's another great alternative. And it has a longer strap. You can make it shorter if you buy those little hooks that I got from Amazon. I'll link them below in case you're interested, but one of my lovely subscribers suggested those to me some time ago when I got my denim one, but this is cute. It has a built-in card holder and a zippered pocket. And the toy little is very roomy inside, believe it or not. It looks tiny, but it fits a lot. And it's just cute. You would never, you could never go wrong with Saint Laurent for anything, to be honest with you. They're not underrated. I'm not going to say that, but Saint Laurent is amazing. So I hope y'all enjoyed my list of my top 10 favorite red holla bag, holla bags, what? My top 10 favorite red holiday bags. I hope y'all enjoyed this list. If you have any that you think should be included, let me know in the comments. Also, if you own any, let me know as well. I will leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.